So who is Jim Wallace? Now, many of you have heard me reference him over the years here on this program, and he is the head of Sojourners Ministry, a social gospel activist ministry. He recently stated that America is responsible for ISIS and that Ebola is an inequality crisis, and I hope that is an indication of his extreme leftist ideology, which has trickled down to millions of Christians, particularly here in America. He was a blatant Marxist years ago. He says he has moderated. He remains anti-capitalist. Along with us today, along this hour, we're going to be including Mike LeMay from Station Q90 in Green Bay, Wisconsin. He's host of the radio program Stand Up for Truth and author of the book, The Suicide of American Christianity, Drinking the Kool-Aid of Secular Humanism. Eric Barger is in studio with me today as a co-host. And uh, folks, welcome one and all. Glad you can join me today. Glad to join you, Jan. It's a privilege to be here, Jan. Mary, you write that uh, in the booklet that you've just presented produced. Actually, you produced it some time ago now, but you read some 50 articles by Jim Wallace. So what did you conclude after that? Just put it in a few paragraphs, some of what you put in the booklet after you read 50 articles by Jim Wallace. Yes, you know, what I did was I just thought, you know, if I'm going to cover this topic, I've been asked to write about it, I really need to know what I'm looking at and who I'm talking about here. And I had been following him for a couple of years, and I knew what social gospel was and the history of of it. But what alarmed me was not only his background in politics and, you know, his opinionated views on uh, Vietnam and all these other historical things, because remember, he's been around for quite a while right. now. Sojourners, which is his magazine, is 40 years old right now, and he's been politically active uh, since before then. But what really concerned me was his emphasis on the social gospel and bringing it into the church. I just found that that was something that was very alarming, because, you know, as far as ideologies go in the world that we live in, I don't expect a lot from unsaved. But when someone says they're a Christian, Mm -hmm. now I'm thinking, okay, what about your views of the Bible and Scripture? Are we on the same page? Are you my brother in the Lord? And that sort of thing. And he believes, and those like him believe, that by getting the church to embrace liberal theology and all the political ramifications of that regarding racism, immigration, economic reform, jobs, health care, global warming, rejecting Israel as God's people, if they can persuade the conservative holdouts in the evangelical world, because they have nothing but disdain for the Christian coalition or whatever you want, to call them, Mm -hmm. then their feeling is that the Republican lawmakers out there are going to have to sit up and take notice that the Bible Belters have made a sharp left turn, and in that way, the lawmakers are going to have to advance Wallace's left-wing agenda because their Christian voter base has disappeared or died off. And so this is going to remove the final barrier to making the U.S. a completely socialist nation, and that is the goal here. I mean, he has turned every hot-button political issue of the day into a divine mandate for equality and justice based on his definition of the gospel, and that's very alarming to me. Uh, Mike LeMay, you weigh into this here. Mike, do you feel that um, social justice is the heart of the gospel? That is what Jim Wallace says. How would you differ with that? Well, let's look at the word social justice. Social means consensus and ever-changing. The social justice gospel, preached by uh, Wallace and many others, is a social justice based on what man thinks is right versus godly justice, which is always constant and always just. God is just from the day he he began. He is the great I am. The problem with social justice, again, is social norms change, values change. So the social justice movement is humanism, flat out. It's the consensus of the people. It's the Laodicean church. What is fashionable today? Today, homosexual marriage is fashionable. Mm-hmm. So the social justice movement clings on to that. And of course, as we know, folks, the only problem with that is it's in direct violation of what God says is eternal justice. Eric, caring for the poor, it is important. Where does it belong. Absolutely. I mean, it's a uh, an outgrowth of the gospel, but it's not the gospel. That's the point. Everybody listening who is a Christian should be doing or thinking about what do we do to help those who are in need? Jesus said the needy would always be with us, but this doesn't mean that suddenly we make that the gospel. The gospel is eternal. If we're only interested in man and, and how they are cared for or their particular condition here on the earth during their earthly lives, we have missed it because the gospel is about eternity. And if we don't have that right, then we certainly won't have anything else right. 